Hey guys, and welcome to my 11th Pokemon Hacking Tutorial Remake. In this remake, I'm going to be talking about the Palette and Block Editor um, tools in Advanced Map. Now, the Block Editor, firstly, is n a not a frequently used tool, but there are many. If you want to go for a little, little hack, you don't really need to use it, but if you want to go for a big full blow on changing everything, basically, you're going to need it. Now the easy version, uh, the easy way of using this is okay. Let's say for example, I want the Pokemon Center here to be on a patch of sand. Let's say put that there instead. So I'll just draw out the sand for a second, guys. Sorry about this. Yep. Just do this. Oops. And we'll do a left side, a right side. Now, obviously, you can do this normally enough, uh, and then you do your little sand around here, up on the side, up the top. But when you get to the top, see, uh, if I try and cover that, it gets rid of part of the roof, so that doesn't really work. So if we add part of the roof, the part of the roof we're using here, we can see, we can clearly see that. Um, background is set to a default gra grass and so are the front two corners and the rest of the back bit here so to do this we need to go and click this little block editor the little puzzle piece at the top or just go tools block editor and you cut this load of bubble, uh, bubbles uh, like load of tiles and stuff now this left hand side here is the all the, the tile sets the same that you see on the right hand side with a gap in the middle obviously for the two tile sets and then on this uh, little bit here is a mix up of loads of different bits associated with this these two tile sets as you can see they're all messed up now to do this we need to find the Pokemon Center uh, roof here it is and we'll select the top left corner first as you can see there's a little indication here down slash up now the thing you need to do is you need to scroll down and find a grass patch now it's, uh, it's a grass patch, sand patch now I can see sand's going to be up here somewhere, but we need to change the palette. There are 12 palettes to choose from, and you just need to cycle through until you find the uh, colour you really need. So, I believe it's number 5 here. And as you can see, here's your uh, divided into basically each little block here is four, uh, make four of these make one big block on this thing. So let's say we want some sand, so we'll do the, the and put the down bit, let me save. You see on this bit here, it's, also, it's changed to sand on the back, and up here it's also changed to sand on the back. So we'll carry on and do the rest. I'll just do this. There we are. I won't bother with too much editing, so I'll just quickly do this. So you can also change the stuff that's above the um, thing as well. So I'll go back up here to find the rest of it. Uh, and you see the front two corners around as well, don't I? Oops. Yeah, you kind of need to save that afterwards. I believe I did it with the others. And I have to do it with the sides as well. Just to make it look a bit more natural. I don't think it's going to make, make much difference for me, so. Uh, yeah, I need to do that there. Save. Oh, I need to do. Is it down here? Yeah. This bit here. Save. There we are. So now we need to go, if you see it's changed down here as well, so that's pretty much it. So exit that, and it's done. Now bearing in mind, if I just click save here, if we go to another town, for example, Viridian City, there's also sand here as well. So if you change the tile set on one map, it changes on all the maps. So just bear in mind with that. So we have Pokemon Center there. Now, some people on their hacks, they might decide, okay, I, I, the design of the trees is getting a bit old, so I want to change the design of the trees. To do this, you need to click save here. Actually, no, it's, I'm so, so, sorry to save. You need to go save, because we're tile, tile set to one, save anywhere. And then you can edit in paint or a similar one, and you can replace the tiles with your own design tiles or tiles from another game. You might go for a further generation one. So uh, try make a, I might make another video fully on that. So it's very hard to do though. So you know. Now a second bit, um, palette editor. Now say uh, I didn't want to change the 
look of the tree, I just wanted to change the colours in it, uh, you need to go to palettes and show palette editor. Now basically this allows you to change the colours in each palette. As you might know with palettes, uh, you can only have a certain number of colours in them, uh, and only a certain number of colours per ROM, so this applies with almost GBA and overall editor as well. So for example, let's say I want to do the top of the trees. These four colours up here do the trees, so we click on the first one. And now the thing I did is I saved a um, paint thing of a, black, a tree from black and white, and then I click select colour, and you can put basically your mouse anywhere on the whole screen. You can even minimise windows and stuff, I think, or maximise them. And basically it will just tell you the colour ratios needed for this colour. So if you want to see the colour from Pokemon Center there, it's 216, 104, 96. So basically I did that and I got measurements for colours here. So the first one will become uh, 40, 200, 104. Now these colours go, go up in 8, so it's not hard to do it at all. So we put this one down to 200, and put the last one down to 104. And we click apply. And see, it changes here. And I'll just do the others, that's a 0, 168. Some of these old colours do look a bit strange on um, the old, uh, some of these new colours, I mean. A bit strange on the old gen games, but you have to find the right like color mix. Uh, 44 and 104. 104. Apply, and the last one 32, 80, 56. Apply. Now, if you look on the back, it's the palette has changed here, but if you look at the back on the map, it hasn't changed like last time. So exit that, and you click palettes. Right palette changes to wrong. It's a bit of loading, and then. As you can see, background, all this changed, changed here, all this here has changed, and if we use the map, all of this has changed. Now I save again, and if we use another city as well, all of this has changed as well, which is why you need to be careful when editing this. So, that's pretty much it for uh, block editor and palette editor. It's pretty easy to do at the start, pretty easy to do at the offset, but it can get harder. So guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, I will see you next time, goodbye, when we will be covering give item scripts.